Hi everyone, this is Jana here. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to make, can you guess? Vegan chicken, because we can. We can transform uh, saitan, saitan flour into chicken. And we have made that a couple weeks ago, a couple, a couple months ago. So you can check there how I made my chicken. And uh, we are going to make this very delicious, that looks very nice, very sophisticated, a vegan uh, leeks, uh, vegan chicken, and mushroom crepe, uh, topped with a very rich and very nice bechamel, a lot of cheese and oven, yummy. What can be better than that? So let me show you how I started. First, to make the crepes. And I made the crepes by adding milk, ground flaxseed, salt, and flour. And then I blended it until well incorporated. And then I have taken a skillet, rubbed it with oil and a paper towel. Then you put the batter in the skillet and it will take uh, one and a half minutes to two minutes per side, perhaps less, depending on your stove. And then you set it aside because now we're going to make the bechamel sauce, which I have made countless times in this channel because it happens to be my favorite sauce. So here's how I made it. And then you turn off the heat and set it aside because now we're going to make the filling. So on the same skillet that I used to make the um, crepes, here they are. You can freeze though, those by the way, it's very freezable. So on the same skillet, you're going to add a little bit, just a tiny bit of vegetable oil. And as soon as it's hot, you add the leeks and the shallots. Then you stir it, medium heat, too high. If you want to use onions, that's perfectly fine, but because the, uh, the leeks, they are um, onion E, so I decided to add just a little bit of shallots, you know, because they're not so strong. They're more flavorful than regular onions. And don't forget about salt, because I always forget to mention, but you're supposed to add salt. Now, as soon as you see that the leeks are cooked through, you add the mushrooms. Those mushrooms are uh, cremini, but any kind of mushrooms will do. Even the canned champignons, they work fine on this recipe. If you're using canned uh, champignons, they don't need to cook much, but if you're using um, regular natural uh, mushrooms, just let them cook a little bit. Don't let them brown so much because I want the bite. So they don't need to cook so much. And as soon as they're cooked through, you serve two glasses of wine, a very good white wine, one for the food, and one for the cook. And now, mm, delicious. What kind of wine? For this um, recipe here, I like uh, a little bit more of an um, oil, uh, oily uh, wine, such as a Chardonnay. But that's my preference, but they have to be right, uh, right. <laughs> yeah, they have to be right. They have to be dry. And uh, if you don't drink, you can skip this step or you can add uh, alcohol free beer. It also works. Now we are going to add our vegan chicken. Like I said before, click there. If you want to know how to make it, it's super simple because they are uh, sort of cooked because they steamed for a long time in my steamer. So you don't need much time here more. Right. 
to hide. Now you add some black pepper or white pepper, your preference, and some fresh thyme. And ready. Now we're going to assemble the crepes and uh, we're going to put them in the in the oven for about 10 minutes, 20, uh, 12 minutes and uh, we're gonna turn on the broiler so we melt a little bit more of the bechamel and you are going to see my friends how delicious this dish is so let's go everything ready to assemble our crepes this is um uh like a, a, an invention and then i saw uh, on the internet the other day because if you know something about me you should know that i don't watch vegan channels so much because i think that uh when we watch too much of the same um, niche, we tend to repeat a lot of the recipes. I will, and I want to bring to you guys um, new recipes or veganize old original recipes or just to help you guys to think outside the box because I want to bring new things to you. This is, this comes from the queen herself, Entertaining with Beth. Um, I'm going to link down below her um, channel. She is amazing she is oh my god i have no words to describe her she's not not a vegan at all but the foods that she make i get a lot of inspiration from her so uh this dish is <laughs> some sort of a copycat of hers in a vegan way i hope she doesn't get mad at me i don't think she will because she looks so nice she sounds so nice also so you take the uh crepe and uh i was gonna say that this is a mixture because a uh, uh, savory uh, Fr uh, French crepe, it's called the galette, and it's made with the buckwheat. And this is not, this is regular flour. So you add the filling here. It does, you don't need to wait until it gets cold. It's even better if it's warm because then it, you take, it takes less time in the oven. So you add a little bit. And then I have here uh, my favorite vegan cheese. It's um, from this brand here, it's Norwegian. Every time I go there, I buy a lot and then I freeze it. So you will always ask me the brand of the cheese that I use. Most of the times it's this one or um, the, the block that I shred it. So you put it a little bit on top. And then you add the bechamel sauce. And then you close it like so. And as always, I have put too much filling because this is me. And then you just, if you want, you can also use a baking tray or a baking plate and then line them up. But because I saw her doing this way, I'm like, okay, this is so pretty, you know, so I got to make it. And here I am. And a little bit more of the bechamel. Not so much because if you add too much bechamel, it's going to be swimming in the sauce and it's not going to be so good. A little bit of parsley. And we're going to add it to the oven and uh, for about, like I said, 10 to 12 minutes and then um, two minutes more under the hot broil. So let's go. Isn't this such an amazing dish? I absolutely, positively love it. Since I made it the first time, I have been making it repeatedly and then sometimes I, I don't add the leeks, I add spinach or I add whatever that I have left on my fridge because this is like a, a, a dish that you can put together according to the things you like the most. And this is how I like it. So a little bit more parsley just to make it prettier because we like pretty. We say that you eat first with your eyes, right? And this is it for today. My big, big, big thanks to Beth for being such an inspiration to me. Don't yell at me because she's not a vegan because that's not how we do things here, okay? And uh, this is it for today. If you want to get this t-shirt because I absolutely love it as well, I think it's genius, you can check out my merch down below. And uh, don't forget to follow me on my social media. If you make the food that I make here on the channel, please tag me. Uh, hashtag me because I love when you do that. I get so happy. And uh, 
Uh, something else that I was gonna say? Oh no, that's it. So patrons, if you want to support my uh, channel, check on my patron because it helps a lot. And this is it for today. See you next time. Have a fabulous week. Bye bye.